The stethoscope welcomes you. Today in this video, we are going to discuss how to study maths and physics for the IMAT. Only a few questions, but two very vast lipi. How should you approach these subjects for the IMAT? For the IMAT, maths and physics include topics that are typically covered in high school. Physics from measuring units and vectors to hints of electromagnetism. Mathematics from numerical sets and algebra up to probability and statistics. Since the average students generally devote very little time to this section of the test, you might see a big difference in terms of ranking positions if you score high enough. One peculiarity of this topic is that the type of exercises are always the same and the level of difficulty is nothing but high. Therefore, if you have strong bases, you will need to revise less and focus more on practice. If you didn't study much maths and physics, you'd have to work a bit harder. If you fall in the first category, aim for 15 points. If you are in the second one, 6 to 8 points would be a more realistic goal. For this section, I advise you not to dive into comprehensive books, but rather learn the key concepts mostly repeated in past papers. Maths and physics may seem like the most difficult sections to many students. Some even used to decide not to study them at all since they only used to count a total of eight questions and seemed like a big time investment for a little return. But that was a huge mistake. For now, the situation has been altered completely. The trick here is that the actual questions topic in this section rarely change through the years. So you can get some easy points at the IMAT. For maths and physics, I recommend you to practice more rather than considering books. But yes, for a reference, I honestly would not recommend the IB diploma books as they require more time and in-depth study. You may use A-levels books instead. Here we go with a few general tips. For the theoretical part, use high school books that you already know and you are familiar with. Use them to correct your exercises and recall the different concepts, but do not proceed to a useless and exhausting full reading. Once you are confident with the basic concepts, briefly revise by creating some schemes and summaries. Make sure to go through all the topics. Exercises need to be selected carefully. Choose standard ones instead of those that appear to be too specific and entangled. Try to summarize each type of exercise with its solution formula or a specific strategy. Say goodbye to your calculator. Try not to use it for any calculation even in your daily life. All test subjects require good mental calculation skills. It will save your many precious minutes. Jot down your mistakes and specific revisions. Create a formulary to write down the most important formulas and measurements. For your convenience, I have attached one. You can download it from the description box. And remember to time yourself. Most importantly, do not give up. Maths and physics can and should be a way for many of you to earn some easy points. It's unlikely that you will be surprised by a strange topic. The path to medical school is hard, but it's doable.